Hi everyone, my name is Maya Nguyen from Aussie Group in Perth and today I'm scheduled to talk to you about the changes that has just occurred um, for students who are studying uh, Diploma Certificate 3 and Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care and uh, the relevant uh, information that you need to uh, move forward with your provisional skills assessment and applying for the graduate visa, 485 visa. Um, if you haven't uh, been checking online or speaking to other people, I just need to advise you now that as of the 16th of November 2019, the new relevant assessing authority body has changed from Trades Recognition Australia to ASECA, um, abbreviation of Australian Children's Education and Care Quality Authority. So now they've taken over from Trades Recognition Australia, which is the um, TRA that you would have known in the past. So TRA is still um, relevant for students who are studying commercial cookery, but no longer will be the assessing uh, authority body for early childhood edu education and care um, graduates. Okay, so those of you who are studying at TAFE or at the international colleges in Perth, um, once you've completed the diploma of early childhood, then you know that the next step on is if you want to continue to stay in Australia, you would need to apply for your temporary graduate visa. And to be eligible to apply for that, you need to um, apply to ASECA now uh, for your provisional skills assessment, okay? So the fees will be very similar to what you would have normally paid for TRA. It's $330 at ASECA. And the, uh, the normal qualifications uh, would still apply once uh, you apply to a SECA. So um, we would, it's a paper-based assessment application. They would look at all your academic transcripts and completion letter of your certificate three and diploma of education, um, as, um, early childhood education and care um, courses that you've completed. The, um, of course, the main thing would be the work-based training that you did while you were studying at your college or TAFE. Uh, so they would look at um, they would, would cry, require that you clock up at least 240 hours from your work-based training. Okay, I understand that TAFE um, potentially the students uh, coming from TAFE would have clocked up around 900 plus hours at other international colleges over 600 hours. So you're way over what is the requirement from ASECA anyway. So you don't need to worry about that. But they need confirmation from. Um, by the completion letter from the school advising them of exactly how many hours you've clocked up. And of course, we will need to provide them with the work-based uh, training booklets that you have accumulated over the two-year course that you've studied. Um, so the gist of it, the main, the main thing is to be eligible to apply for graduate visa because you studied um, a relevant occupation that can be found uh, from the course, which is the early childhood, the relevant occupation can be found on the medium and long-term list is the child care centre manager, okay? So definitely, once you have completed Certificate 3 and Diploma in Early Childhood, still you are still eligible to apply for um, the Temporary Graduate Visa Supplies 485. Now, do not get confused with uh, this particular visa as opposed to, let's say, PR. Uh, to find permanent residency, to find peer pathway, the provisional skills assessment from ASECA is not enough, okay? So uh, for further information, I do recommend highly that you come back, to, uh, come to us, to Oz's group and see me or one of our migration agents here for us to explain to you further how best we can help you to apply for your peer pathway uh, using your studies from the early childhood education and care courses that you've completed. I must admit to you that it is not easy as compared to your um, fellow uh, colleagues, mates at school where they uh, study commercial cookery courses. Um, you've decided, you've gone on a different pathway from them where it required more than just completing your course. And um, instead of, uh, for commercial cookery graduates or students coming out and then doing the job ready program, they only need to show one year of work experience and then they can get a full skills assessment. In this way, for you, unfortunately, 
it seems that you need to accumulate three years of work experience before you can get a full skills assessment from a SACRA. So with that, it takes a little bit of manoeuvring. Um, there is a way to go around it, but it's not a direct way. I understand if you think further that uh, how can you accumulate three years of work experience when effectively your graduate visa will only allow you 18 months uh, to stay back in Australia um, on the Fort My visa and, and you can only work full time. Uh, for now, I could only think simply is for something, somebody to be able, some, in this situation that you're in, if you have a spouse who can study, once you've completed your studies, you go on your graduate visa, you've used up nearly half of your graduate visa, um, 18 months worth, and then if your spouse is willing to study, they apply for, let's say, a master's course. If they already qualify as a bachelor graduate from back home, then they apply to do a master's course. Potentially, if they study a master of uh, course, then the dependent spouse like you are able to be able to work full time. With that, if they study for two years on a master's course, you have a chance to work full time for two more years. Once they go on the graduate visa, if they study in WA, WA is now regional, potentially they will get up to three years of a graduate visa uh, to be able to stay back in Australia and to be able to work full time. With that, you have ample time to find um, opportunities to find work, to clock up three years of a work experience to, to achieve or to obtain your full skills assessment. So this is my simple way to find uh, a, a, an opportunity to help you to find a way for a PR pathway if you persist in this regard. Um, so it's not the end of the world. There is a way to help you. Another way to find PR pathway would be through the Dharma program. If you go to Northern Territory or even in WA itself, we have the Kalgoorlie Dharma. Um, that offers, they, they have their own occupations list, and there is childcare worker as well as childcare centre manager on the, on the occupation list through Dharma. Now, so if you do not think that you would want to um, pursue trying to get full skills assessment as a childcare centre manager, then there's always a chance that you can find a job as a childcare worker and find uh, a path for PR. Now, for the Dharma thing, Dharma program, you need to have a skills assessment as a childcare worker anyway. With that, it entails that you need to clock up uh, at least 20 hours a week, uh, but work employment full time of one year as a childcare worker. Then you're able to apply for the TSS 482 visa through the Dharma. Okay, so if you want to know further about this, please do make an appointment to see me at Oz's Group in Perth, and I'm very happy to help you. So Coming back to um, the kind of documents that you would need to apply to SACRA, mainly be your passports and general documents that you need to apply to TRA before, and now it will be very much, very, very much uh, the same documents. So passport, uh, passport size photos, the academic transcripts and completion letter of certificate three and diploma in early childhood, education and care, your completion letter of the work-based training as well, so it's not just the completion letter of the Certificate 3 and Diploma from the school. You will also need from the school uh, distinctly the completion letter uh, detailing the details of where you've um, done your work-based training at different um, childcare centres in Australia, in WA, in Perth, and the number of hours that you've clocked up uh, per uh, centre that you've worked at. Um, and of course, Attached to that would also be the work-based training booklets uh, from your certificate three and also from the diploma course that you did. Um, so once we apply, it takes within 10 working days for a second to come back uh, to send an acknowledgement that they've received your application and a further 60 days, within 60 days for them to fully assess and provide you with a provisional skills assessment. And that piece of uh, paper to say that they've confirmed that it's been successful, uh, that you are um, uh, successful in obtaining the provisional skills assessment as a childcare centre manager. And only once you've received that document would you then be eligible, apart from other documents, for you to be uh, able to apply for the graduate visa, the graduate temporary graduate visa supplies 485.
Okay. So um, I hope this little bit of information to you today uh, explains a little bit to help you further with the processes of applying for your provisional skills assessment and um, also that you now have a little bit more idea of how uh, to find a chance for PR, it's not going to be easy. Okay, I've mentioned before in my other Facebook uh, post that I did for you when I talked about child care, centre manager, studying early childhood. Um, so you need to be aware that to find a direct peer pathway, the you need to find your relevant occupation from the medium and long term strategic skills list. Okay. Now the occupation relevant to you would be child care centre manager, not child care worker as such. So I asked you the question, how easy do you think it would be realistically for you to find an occupation readily available to you once you graduate from your two courses, Certificate 3 and Diploma of Early Childhood, um, for you to, to, to find employment as a child care centre manager immediately? I don't believe it is that easy. Uh, it's nearly impossible. Okay. But again, if there is possibility, but you need to find a way to maneuver yourself, to find a, um, a way to salvage um, a way that if you have a chance to stay longer in Australia and you still have a chance to, have to hold a visa that would allow you to work uh, full time, um, to give the extent of up to three years of work full time in a childcare centre as a childcare centre manager then and only then would you be eligible to apply to get your full skills assessment and then use that to apply for PR, okay? So yes, if you need further information, you know where we are, please come and make an appointment to see me as soon as you can. I welcome you. Thank you.